Hello everyone, Bearded Servant back with another DIY video. Um, so, I'm going to show you my counter and how it came out. Now, the old counter was this ugly yellow laminate. And the new counter is similar to the laminate that's right here, this color. Okay. Quick backstory. I went into Lowe's and asked the gentleman that does the measuring and all that for special orders for counters how much it would cost to get this same antique mascarello in this particular pattern, and I'm going to show it to you here. And it was like $2,500 for a specially caught counter. Now, they had the sheet of laminate on sale for like $68. So I bought that and I've pieced it together over the last, I don't know, month. And I'm going to show you how it came out. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to hopefully make it better. All right, folks. So just to run through my materials that I'm going to be using for this project, I used the painter's tape and the masking tape to tape down the drop cloth. I have a pair of uh, latex gloves or, you know, rubber gloves. A, it's, a, it's just a utility scraper, but it's uh, just a straight edge is what you need. A utility paintbrush, one paint stirrer, the glaze coat, and then three containers. Now you definitely want your containers to have um, the markings on them for measurements and we'll show you why. Okay, so I finished the cabinets on this side to match this side. And, you know, granted there are two appliances we need to update. That old dishwasher that we don't use because we use these, and the fridge. But the fridge is only three years old. The only downfall is it's got a few cracks in the inside, so we're gonna try it. We, we may get a new fridge in the next, uh, next six months or so. But anyways, so I did update the counter with a laminate sheet. I measured everything, cut it, filled the, where the cracks were and all that. And at a distance, it doesn't look bad. But when you do walk up to it, especially here around the sink, because I did not take the sink up, you can, oh, and somebody spilled juice there. You can see where the crack is. Not the crack, the, uh, where it meets the seam. And here I had to do it on a few places. So up here as well, this the top came out a little better. There is a seam, and then of course here. Uh, and then there's a seam there, and there's a seam there. And then I had to trim off a thinner piece to go all the way around. And I just used liquid nail to put it all on. So, you know, it doesn't look terrible, but we're gonna try and make it look even better with this glaze coat, okay? Um, it's supposed to basically make it a nice glossy finish. And uh, so what I did for prepping is I took the uh, drop cloth, the, the plastic drop cloth, and I put it underneath all the way around the top because it's basically going to drip you're going you're gonna to basically drip it, let it drip down the sides uh, and cover the sides. Um, I think I'm going to have to get one box for the top and one for the bottom. It comes, this was $22 at Lowe's um, before my discount. Also, I did it along there as well because of the, it's got to drip down. Uh, so we'll uh, do it up and um, see how it comes out. Don't forget your eye protection. This stuff is very bad for your eyes. Okay, so two of these. I don't, I'm not sure how much we're gonna do. This is 16 ounces, so we're gonna go, we're gonna start with eight ounces of each, but you gotta use hardener in one, resin in another. So once you dump it, make sure you cap it. It's 
second one. This, this is the hardener. This is the resin. Um, I'm not even sure if it's gonna work on this Formica stuff that I used to cover my counter, but we're gonna test it out. Okay, so we've got eight ounces of the hardener, eight ounces of the resin. Okay, so we have to pour the hardener into the resin and then stir for six minutes. And make sure you get as much off the edges and the sides as you can. That way that the amount that you measured out stays correct. Okay, so that's a used one. This is our other clean one. And now you have to stir for six minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, now that it's been six minutes, what we have to do is take the clean, another clean one, container, clean container, and dump it, all, the whole mixture, into a clean container. What I did is right after I, <laughs> right after I dumped it, I decided to add two more ounces of each uh, when I, when I added the hardener to the, to the resin, just because the size of the counter. Okay, so I did the glaze coat here. I actually put a 2018 penny in there <laughs> because it does say that you can encase whatever you like in it. And I wanted to put a penny in there to show that that's when we redid the counter. So it's gonna be nice and glossy and hopefully um, I, I used um, eight ounces of each, I forget. But anyways, uh, it looks like it's gonna drip for a, while, for a little while along the edges. I probably could have used more along the edges. So both using the full bottles of the stuff definitely would have uh, been uh, would have been good um, but I didn't so um, I'll save it for when we do the lower part and um, I'm gonna have to get another another kit to do the entire lower part but uh, the upper part looks like it's going to uh, uh, come along fine and um, I'll do a little bit more once it hardens and really won't see much a uh, difference but it'll be nice and shiny and that's it.